I'm the Hacksmith, and on this episode of Make It Real... Hey, I'm the real Hacksmith, and in this episode of Make It Real, we're testing this awesome Iron Man rocket launcher made by my friend Jarris. This is the latest project from my YouTube channel, and I wanted the Hacksmith to be the first to shoot it. So tell me a bit more about the rocket launcher. Well, I've been working on it for a couple of weeks now. It's almost entirely out of Kydex, except for some aluminum parts inside. It has a servo-actuated launcher system and it shoots actual solid fuel rockets from it, unlike most other ones that you see that just shoot fireworks. Awesome. And if we wanted to see how you made it, we can check out your YouTube channel. I documented the entire build process there, so you can go find out how I made all the different parts of it and how I tried to figure out how to make it work when it didn't work. Awesome. There'll be a link in the description below to check that out. Let's give it a shot. All right, we gotta get this thing on you. All right. In order to build the rockets that are ammunition for this, you take your solid fuel rocket motor, you take your cast nose cone, glue it on top, and then you take this piece and you cut out a bunch of fins from plastic soda bottle material to glue to the sides as fins for it so that they can squish down and fit inside the launcher. The process of cutting the fins is extremely time consuming. I don't know what he's talking about. These are pretty quick to cut out. Oh, come on! And that's how you make fins for these things. Really? We're gonna test the Iron Man rocket launcher for the first time. And he gets to do it. I'm a little bit worried about that. Did you feel it on your face at all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's red hot. That's red hot. Woo! So, what should I do if that happens again? Pray. All right, so the uh, last rocket got a little jammed inside the launching mechanism, but we think it was actually a problem with the rocket itself. So we've double checked this next one and we're going to go on with testing. I said I'd shoot it, but he said he wants to do it again. We haven't had a whole lot of luck with him shooting it, so I'm going to try it once and hopefully I'll actually get it to go somewhere instead of just into the ground. Wish me luck. Yes. Wow. It went somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was pretty awesome. The mechanism works great. It opens and closes beautifully, and the ignition system works pretty much perfectly. But the only problem is the rockets are extremely inconsistent in how they fly. And my part two, I tried to make them fly right in tests, and they worked really well then, but obviously something changed between then and now. Future. <laughs> so maybe using some pre-made rockets could help make sure they fly a bit more true. But all in all, I'd say it was a pretty successful project, and it was friggin' awesome being able to throw my arm up and shoot rockets just like Iron Man. To see how he built the Iron Man rocket launcher and a couple other cool projects, click the links below, and don't forget to subscribe. To him, that is. Emmy. And also, if you head over to my channel, you'll get to see an interview with me and him talking about the ins and outs of trying to fly like Iron Man. <laughs> and before I go, I have one more thing that I want to show you. Yeah? Let's do it. Power fist. Ah, I should have been wearing safety shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh.
don't know.